let's look at the proof of the equation of a circle. So we have a circle here centered at AB and we're now going to think about how we can generalize the equation of any circle using this as an example. So if we first consider any point on the circumference of a circle, it must have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And so in this case, we'll choose any point on this circumference, say up here, and we'll give this point coordinates x and y. So we can now join this point with the center of the circle in the following way. We can now create a right angled triangle, which looks something like this. Now let's consider the side lengths of this right angled triangle. So the first thing is that any length from the center of a circle to its circumference is always called the radius. And so in this case, this length is the radius here. If we now consider the base length of this right angled triangle, we know that at the center here, this has an x coordinate of a, and we also know that at this point, this has an x coordinate of x. And so if we wanted to work out the distance of the base length of this right angle triangle, we would have the distance x minus the distance a, which would give us the remaining distance required. And so this distance is x minus a. Likewise, if we wanted to work out the perpendicular height here of this right angle triangle, we know that the center has a y coordinate of b. And we also know that this point here has a y coordinate of y. And so if we want the perpendicular height of this right angled triangle, we would take the length y and subtract it from the length b, which would then leave us with y minus b. For any right angled triangle, we can use Pythagoras' theorem. And so let's apply that theorem to this right angled triangle. And so Pythagoras' theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals to c squared, where a, b, and c are the side lengths of a right angled triangle, and in particular, where c is the hypotenuse. And so in this right angled triangle, the hypotenuse is the side length opposite the right angle, which is r. And so using Pythagoras' theorem, we have x minus a, all squared, which is the base length here, plus y minus b, all squared, which is the perpendicular height of this right angle triangle. And this equals to r squared, where r is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. And so this is the general equation of a circle, which has a center with coordinates a, b, and also has a radius, which is labeled as r. That is the proof of the equation of a circle.